Hey everybody, welcome to meal prepping for week three. It's gonna be a ricey, and I don't know if that's a word. I don't think it is a word, but we're making it a word. A ricey week. Um, I did not go shopping, so I don't have like, I wanted to do barley and salad and stuff. Who knows, maybe midweek I'll do it. So what we're doing is cooking a big batch of brown rice right here. That's gonna go with at least two dishes um vegan mole which is a mexican sauce i'll show y'all later and the other uh i think it's gonna go with a leftover curry that's been freezing from week one yes it's still good to go it's been in the freezer and here i'm going to make a fun colored kimbab so that's white rice I'm also going to try to prepare a uh, never seen before uh, way of making rice. It's a North African dish. You guys have definitely have definitely need to try it. It's, it's amazing. It's steamed, uh, packed in veggies and everything. Okay, so I will be back later. Hey guys, it's been one of these days. I'm sorry I was not able to film this as it is a long process. I will be making it again the first week or two of September. Uh, this huge, huge bowl here, I'm going to split it between cooking it this time and freeze. It's uh, uncooked. It's how you want to freeze when you do a huge batch. Uh, so I got my steamer going. Here I got... Uh, super super washed long grain or medium grain white rice not sticky uh, not the sticky kind I got ga uh, <laughs> carrots no I got carrots uh, chickpeas black beans tomatoes onions uh, a big bunch of mint a big bunch of parsley and a huge bunch of uh, spinach you can also use baby kale uh, not with the thicker stems like unstem it if you'd like uh, spices is a lot of coriander okay don't be shy on the spices uh, garlic powder and this rice loves its mint if you're not a big fan of mint put some just not tons okay a uh, serving to taste of uh, pepper paste now if you don't eat spicy don't worry about the pepper paste uh, this is a North African uh, pepper paste you can use Guju John if you're familiar with Asian pepper paste one small can of tomato paste and for the rice like three handfuls th like this yes that's how I cook <laughs> uh, don't be shy on the oil I use this one whatever you do do not use olive oil on this to steam it because it's quite heavy and uh, just does not go with steamed rice so either this or the safola I'm sure I'm saying it wrong oil okay uh, don't be shy on it. Be pretty generous so the rice does not stick as it steams. Uh, about half a cup or even a whole cup for this whole amount, you guys. Okay, it's, it's a lot. Of course, salt and pepper. Uh, what other vegetables I have in here? I have Brussels sprouts. You can get, make this your own. If you want to throw in small broccoli florets, it'll be fine. In fact, I was going to throw um, organic, what do you call that? Brain freeze, corn, and stuff like that. I think I'm going to have to skip now because my water is ready right there. And I still have to cook the other stuff and bathe, uh, bathe my daughter. Patati patata. Um, yeah, so this is going to go to steaming. Hey, my lovelies. I realized I did not introduce this dish as it should be introduced. <laughs> it is my favorite dish from back home. When I say back home, it's North Africa. North Africa, if not familiar with that region, is Middle Eastern. And in my intro video, I explain how I'm half Arabic and half Mexican. So this uh, rice in Arabic is called Ruz Jirbi. Jirbi being an area called Jirba in uh, Tunisia, North Africa. And it's an, actually an island, uh, Ruz Jirbi. That means uh, Jerbian rice. Mm. In this... Um, uh, excuse me it gets covered and steams for about 30 minutes or so or as soon as the rice you know is fully cooked and it's already smelling amazing you can honestly the flavor of this would be completely different and would not do it justice without the mint so i really hope it could be fresh mint or dried mint okay if you're buying 
dry mint in a jar like this, you have to use all of it, trust me, okay? And fresh mints is a big old bunch. So I got this to freeze once, I'm sure I'll do it again mid-September. It's my favorite dish, the kids like it as well. Uh, I even added this, this traditionally is not in it. I rinsed this really, really good. It's got an amazing taste. And there we go. And I have here, I'll show you all the rice from earlier, one of them anyways. I put blue spirulina powder in it. So this is going to be for the, uh, oops, I forgot what it's called, guys. <laughs> the quote unquote thick uh, sushi. Okay, it's kimbab. I believe it's Korean. So, uh, and I'm going to make this Monday night, hopefully. So this is ready. So tomorrow while they're in school, I'm going to prepare, uh, excuse me, I'm going to prep all the veggies that go inside of it. But this is good to go once I cook the rice by itself. Then I dilute a little bit of the blue spirulina that I get from Unicorn Superfoods on Instagram. And a little bit of water once it's fully cooked and cooled. I add my mixed powder with water. A little bit of water, you guys, into my rice and mix it really good. And ta-da! There you go. And I'm going to move on to the mole. And I better go check on the bathtub situation. See y'all later. Hey guys, it's mole time. And I'm going to be using this. I did not find the other brand that I usually like. Uh, so these, I don't know if you've tried to open them before. They are <laughs> a pain, a pain to open. Uh, but they're worth it. And I'm going to give you my take on how to even add more flavor to it. It says here, add your seasoning. You're like, well, I'm going to add to it like, you know, regular, I don't know, cumin, chili. Nope, nope, nope. I'll show you in a minute. Hopefully I don't embarrass myself by trying to open this. So there is a triangular shape indented in there. So you flip it on paper towel and put like cushioning underneath the paper towel, like uh, kitchen towels, thick kitchen towels. And then you try to poke at those corners with a knife flipped. I'll show you, see if it makes any sense. So, hmm, mm hmm, so it looks like one is here. This is messy, you guys. It's messy and I might, might even break my knife, but it's worth it. The other one is around here. It doesn't have to be super perfect or this exact. And then the third one is about here. Okay, ah, let's flip it. <laughs> That's why you put the towel. Oh, come on, work and not quite not quite yes you guys it is that messy and it starts oozing that's why we got the whoo child them all ah <laughs> it's okay you did not that's okay we did it you guys trust me it is that big of a mess okay <laughs> so we're using this whole jar and we put it in hell oh i needed a laugh y'all who doesn't right let's move this mess to the side if y'all have a better technique y'all share with us in the description below and now is the fun part of scooping this yumminess out hang on y'all i'll be right back okay you guys excuse the mess but that's how you know real home cooking you know it's messy all right it ain't clean so all of my mole is in here and uh this is by experimenting and watching other videos and they add every video every person adds according to their taste but basically what i'm going to be adding is the ingredients part of the ingredients that are already here which if you're not familiar with the mole it's a chocolate base and it also has peanuts peanuts uh, peanuts in it okay so i'm going to be adding this is the chocolate i'm going to use six big spoons like heaping spoons of unsweetened cocoa powder Okay, baking is fine. You're going to be cooking it, okay? You can use that Mexican Doña Maria squares uh, if you want to try that, but this will do as well, you guys. Uh, about three heaping tablespoons of peanut butter. Doesn't matter if it's chunky or smooth. And if it's sweetened, that's okay, because y'all will see in a minute. I'm going to be adding some sugar. Um, the sugar I'm adding is the raw cane sugar, organic raw cane sugar, about two tablespoons okay 
and you can add more to taste and then what i'm going to be uh, um, excuse me personally adding for smokiness and spices and stuff this is the frontera frontera brand you might have seen these around it doesn't have to be the barbacoa kind and it doesn't have to be uh this exact same one okay uh but this one has like let's see real quick fire roasted to yep fire roasted tomatoes uh, vinegar, some chiles, garlic, cinnamon, oregano, or any of the frontera sauces you like. Honestly, guys, it's not traditional, but even a freaking taco frontera seasoning like this, just to get that smokiness and the spices in there, okay? Between the peanut butter and, uh, woo, and all them stuff, this is now going to be the main flavor, okay? It's just to enhance our chocolate and our peanut butter goodness in here. Now I wish I had, excuse me, I wish I had vegetable broth. I don't, so I'm just going to add a little bit of water. And the more you guys, once it's cooled down, uh, it tends to solidify a little bit. You don't want it super, super runny uh, and super, like, tough either. I'm going to warm up my stove in here, my non-stick pan. Don't put oil in it or anything. And I'm going to blend this up really good, and I'll be back okay you guys i hope this doesn't splash me like crazy i ended up adding a little bit more water uh, and a little bit more of cocoa powder and a little bit more of the peanut butter yikes good to go put all that has to be really smooth pour it all in there you know what uh hang on i need to i need to use my spatula you guys hang on sorry i'll be right back okay you guys whoops the mole definitely needs to be mixed and it's better if you cook it in a non-stick pan because this baby sticks at the bottom. So cook it according to the instructions on the glass jar. It says to have it boil for about four minutes and, you know, keep checking on it. And uh, after about that time, what I'm going to add to it is uh, a can of rinsed black beans. Traditionally, um, they cook it with chicken, but this is a vegan channel. And we're going to add the black beans. When you dish this out over the rice, you guys, you definitely, definitely, definitely want chopped up teeny tiny pieces of uh, chopped up uh, onion and uh, cilantro. Okay. And your taste. If you want it to be a little bit more sweet, feel free to add the sugar at the end. Uh, and this is a, you know, give it a try, you guys. It's really good and something different to, to serve with the, with the rice, right? So we have that blue rice I showed earlier. That's for the kimbab or some other day. My rose jerby is ready to go. It's a little bit whiter on the color. I could have gone with more, excuse me, red, uh, with red color, uh, by adding more um, tomato paste, that's right. <laughs> uh, more tomato paste, uh, but it's okay. It's still extremely, extremely delicious. And we have this and we have the frozen curry from week one's meal prep and we have the kimbap so that's four school lunch meals you guys plus some dinners especially this one my kids love this one so this is my favorite north african dish since i was young and this is also my favorite the mexican dish <laughs> this week should be taught my favorite food and honestly the kimbap it's my kids this favorite asian you know inspired meal so this is a favorites week you guys and there we have it i believe i am done prepping for now uh i'm still oh i have to show you the fruits i got from the ladies garden my kitchen is a mess but this is real life you guys boom there you go and groceries we just got back from and the boxes from the movers that came was it saturday or friday i don't remember anymore you guys but if you've moved, you know that it takes a long time um, to get things sorted out and organized. This is the fruits I got from the lady's uh, garden, which I'm very envious of and lucky that I found her selling these puppies. So this is breadfruit. Looks like it's got ways to ripen, but it's good to go. I'm excited to try and make some desserts with it. She included, she was so sweet. She included some limes for me. Oh my goodness. All this is from her garden, you guys. Look at these. Oh, avocados. They need time to ripen as well. Yes, for sure. They're hard. hard. Oh, this one looks a little, feels a little soft. So, oh, look at the mole. 
Ay, ay, ay. And this whole bag of passion fruit. Oh, this is mine and my youngest son. And my daughter as well. But me and my son's favorite, my youngest. Look at that bag, you guys. I have, I think, five pounds of passion fruits here. They sell it at the farmer's market. I think uh, $1.50 or $2 each. Yeah. And it can go up to $3, depending which farmer's market you're at here in Hawaii. But not cheaper than $1.50. I have not seen it anywhere cheaper than $1.50. And she sold, the, I can't remember, for the whole pound. Was it $2 or something like that? Anyways, for all this... And she surprised me with the mango that I stuck in the fridge. That, all this avocados. Check that out. And the, the limes don't count because they're freebie. And three of the bread food. It was like $26, which is not, not bad at all. Like, I got to freeze these because there's no way me, me and them were going to be able to eat it. And uh, yes, the smell, oh, the smell is amazing, you guys. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, and I think I'm good to go. I don't think I'm going to cook anything else for meal prep. It. Oops, my mole. <laughs> uh, thank you for your support. I hope I don't have issues uploading this tonight. Uh, and stay tuned uh, for uh, the diary of week three. As well as hopefully a getting real uh, episodes will be uploaded uh, this week, hopefully around Thursday. I have a lot of parent-teacher conferences as my kids' school this week. We'll see how it goes. Thank you all so much.